Researchers sharing the results of the first tests measuring metals in tampons and calling now for more regulations requiring this kind of testing by manufacturers. We may not have the definitive evidence linking the presence of heavy metals in a tampon to an adverse health effect. So I ask my patients, how comfortable are you knowing what has been found? Dr. Guillermo Guzman, an OBGYN of 20 years at St. Alphonsus, expects to have this conversation with many more patients over the coming months. It's because researchers at the University of California, Berkeley, find measurable levels of 16 metals in all tampons they tested. 30 from 14 brands sold in the U.S. and beyond, with none testing consistently lower than others, not even organic. Scientists say heavy metals increase the risk of infertility, cancer, diabetes, dementia, and damage to the liver, kidneys, brain, hormones, and cardiovascular system. Between 50 and 80 percent of people who menstruate in the U.S. use tampons and for hours at a time. So the doctor says the next step is to research if the tampons release the metals and if they make their way into the body. We know that heavy metals are toxic and we know the vagina has an amazing capacity to absorb things. Would anybody be surprised if we in 5, 10, 15, 20 years came to this conclusion? I don't think I would be surprised. Regulators with the FDA say they're looking into these findings right now, and if they feel the need, they will take action to protect tampon users. Now, a known complication of using tampons is toxic shock syndrome. It's rare, but sometimes deadly bacterial infection that can occur when wearing a tampon for too long. 